Adobe Premiere Elements 7. Um, when you open up uh, Premiere Elements, this is kind of your uh, basic home screen. Um, to get here, I basically selected a new project and typed in a new file name. So uh, it brings you right to uh, the Get Media screen here. You can see you can uh, grab a video from a camcorder, um, your still camera, even your mobile phone or webcam. Uh, what I'm going to be doing today is creating a simple uh, slideshow from some photos here on my hard drive. So what I'm going to do is just select all of my photos here along with uh, my soundtrack, which is in a MP3 format. Open everything here and it brings it right into your organized window. So here are all my uh, photos from my trip here. Um, first step is to start adding things. Uh, to your timeline. Um, the basic setup in Premiere Elements is called the scene line, which is kind of like a user-friendly version of the Adobe Premiere timeline. So what I can do is select all my photos here, drag them down into the scene line, and it's going to ask me if I want to add them as a group or individual stills. Um, if you want more freedom, you can add them as individual stills, and then it basically creates a uh, five-second clip for each one of your photos here. Um, the space in between um, the individual scenes is for transi transitions and the like. Um, and I, I switch over to my timeline here. You can see how the clip progresses every five seconds to each one of my photos. Uh, you're probably going to notice these photos aren't the best quality when they're in um, the elements window here because they haven't been rendered yet. This is kind of like a uh, quick preview of your video or your photos. It just allows your uh, computer to run a little bit faster. So if we uh, start playing with the timeline here, we can see that our total clip um, is just about uh, a minute and 45 seconds or so, and that seems about right for the number of photos that I have in here. So if I want to uh, add in some music um, to the timeline, I just grab my MP3 here, drag it into my first audio track. You can see um, there is a uh, space down here for additional soundtracks or narration, so you can do some voiceovers on your video as well. Um, with the timeline here, it's super easy to kind of play around with the spacing of everything. So let's say I want to drag this out about, I don't know, let's say 10 seconds. Uh, we want to put some titles in here um, before the start of the movie. Um, basically all we have to do to add some titles is click on the little uh, add text button here. brings up our uh, basic title window. Here's um, some effects. We have uh, tons of different stuff here. Let's say, let's do the zigzag in. Click on that. We'll apply it to our text. And we can s play around with our font styles here. We got tons of stuff. Let's go with this guy here. Um, resize it. Um, type in our text here. Just uh, some real basic. Um, then we can center everything, get it looking nice. Um, and that's about it. So we apply all of our changes. Um, hit done. We're good to go. So let's uh, drag that into here. And then basically have some um, basic black space ahead. So we can drag our title out a little bit. Let's give it a little preview here in the window. So it comes in. Oh, there's our nice title. Scrolling up. Perfect. So as you notice, it kind of jumps abruptly um, to the next photo here. Uh, basically, what we want to do next is add in some transitions. Um, if you go up here to the Effects button, we have all kinds of um, video effects we can do. Uh, and then all of our transitions are under the Transitions button right next door. Um, let's try some of this. So the cube spin looks like it just goes... Uh, rotates right around there, so let's um, drag that guy into the transition between our title and the first photo. We can zoom in here, click on our transition. You can set the length of your transition. Um, 
I do a number of things with it. Let's see how that looks. Looks cool. There's that. Um, let's say for the next one we want to do um, just a simple dissolve. We can drag that in. Um, let me see. Bam, right to the next photo. That looks good. Um, let's see. So that's uh, kind of the basic elements of your um, timeline here, getting your uh, slideshow set up. We can add all these different transitions. Um, just kind of play around with them. You can um, add different things to your individual uh, photos, like motion and uh, different uh, effects, like uh, image blurs and all kinds of cool stuff. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and render this file, and we'll come back and uh, play around with some of these effects. OK, so. Uh, my file here has finished rendering. Um, that means all of my transitions are in place and all of my um, pictures are at full quality now. Basically, I've added a uh, second title to the beginning of my uh, project here. And uh, I think what I want to do is fade in from black. So I just right click on my frame here. It brings up all of my options. So we can fade in video right here. It sets your little keyframes, um, comes in from black um, to full view. Uh, we'll just hit enter here, and this will uh, render our fade in. Should um, get done fairly quickly. There we go. So let's check it out. We got the music in the background here, our little titles, and let's see how our transitions look. Uh, that's pretty good. Let's check out the next one here. Pretty cool, right? So um, it'll just keep playing all the way through the end here. And I'll go ahead and pause it. And um, so now that we have our nice slideshow with all of your photos in there and transitions and music, I think we're good to go. So let's um, play around with some of our export settings here. So up at the top, you can see there's a share button here and it brings up all of our options. You can burn it right to a Blu-ray or DVD disc. You can share it online. You can save it right to your computer. You can save it um, optimized for an iPhone or an iPod, something like that, or old school tape as well. This is um, where Premiere Elements 7 really tends to shine. It's um, pretty much live on the internet uh, throughout. The uh, whole program is connected and it's really easy to uh, upload your videos to your own website or YouTube for instance so um, if we click the YouTube link here we have um, some basic settings and we go next basically all you have to do is sign into your YouTube account and click next and it shoots it uh, right to your folder in your YouTube account definitely easy um, you can also go back and then save a copy to your hard drive if you want to do flash or QuickTime, let's say you have tons of options here as far as windows media and um, yeah that's basically it so uh, it's a pretty brief overview of the adobe premiere elements 7 it's um, a great tool for just doing basic video editing slideshows it's perfect for that or um, you know just playing around with some uh, video of your kids or something. If you want to get you know more involved with the video editing process, definitely take a look at um, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, the timeline features and some of the different edit settings just uh, kind of explode exponentially in that version. It's um, limitless freedom as to what you can do with your video, but uh, the elements is definitely cost-effective way to uh, create some pretty cool videos. Uh, thanks for watching.